This segment is sponsored by Cuyahocasan Baptist Church. We're excited to welcome our next guest, the Reverend Dr. Theodore T. Brown with Cuyahocasan Baptist Church. It's so wonderful to see you today, Reverend. Thank you for being with us. Well, thank you for having us, Jessica. Cuyahocasan Baptist Church certainly has a very well-established history in this community, doesn't it? It does. We've been in existence for 154 years, exactly. And in those 154 years, you have experienced so much and seen so much. But living today in these times of the pandemic crisis, it's a whole new set of challenges. But the congregation and the church is is responding. It is, Jessica. That is a great um, question because we are in a new era. And as far as the new social norm that we have, and we have to deal with the faith community church, On March the 15th of this past year, our leadership team had to make a major decision concerning the welfare and the safety of our congregation. Would we try to attempt to have one more service or would we follow the CDC guidelines and prevention? We took the side of caution because the coronavirus doesn't have any age restriction on it. And so with that, we believe in just saving our congregation for a later date. We are so fortunate today that we do and we can use social media. We do have a social media ministry where we use Facebook live stream. And our website is Parkinson Baptist Church 1866. This is where we have um, Sunday morning worship services at 8 a.m. We also have the power of power services on Wednesday night. That is our Bible study. We have also using conference calls as far as 6 a.m. morning prayer, and we've been doing that for over 443 days. To go along with that, that is seven days a week. Now we have incorporated in Facebook as far as live stream, we are using noonday prayer. And so we have noonday prayer where our audience is growing constantly. So our congregation has adjusted quite well with the new more norm as far as the social distancing. And so we're excited because our congregation had to get a jump start on using social media. And so we are using a lot of outlets and a lot of tools for training our congregation because we have a diverse congregation there at Quarkerson. It is incredible because just so recently ago, that wasn't the norm to go to social media and to have this media ministry outreach that you have, but to be able to respond and then take that route. And certainly everyone is appreciative of that. It's all coming together. It is because we are a faith community of believers and we believe that the scripture um, serves itself as far as If there's a will, there's a way. And we know that the Almighty has supplied all of our needs during this this new epidemic as far as pandemic crisis that no one knew or could project that we would be doing our worship services outside the walls of Parkinson Baptist Church. So with that being the case, you may have heard the language or the verbiage as far as the church without walls. Today, most of our faith community churches are churches without walls. So we are adjusting as we go along, but we're going to maintain. And the wonderful thing about Parker said, we will survive this and we will overcome this. So we're thankful that we can still celebrate and worship uh, our higher power. And with that, worshiping our higher power, we know we will get through this. Scripture says that this too shall pass, and we're waiting for the time, because the Scripture says once again, they who wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They shall mount up as wings as eagles. They shall run and not grow weary, but walk and not faint. And so this is what we're holding true to the text itself, and that is what keeping us moving forward because we are a thriving, a church on the go, and a church that is moving forward. It is our faith that's continued to sustain us today. It's a wonderful story and a fantastic one to share. Reverend Dr. Theodore, Theodore D. T. Brown with Quakison Baptist Church. It's so wonderful talking with you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jessica, for having us. And on behalf of the Quakison family, we wish you well. Be safe and stay your social distancing.
Absolutely. And we will share more information on WTVR.com slash VTM so you can learn more about Quokkasin Baptist Church. Historic Quiocasin Baptist Church is located at 9011 Quiocasin Road in Henrico. You can give them a call at 804-741-2313 or visit them online at quiocasin.org. Find them on Facebook at Quiocasin Baptist Church 1866. Stay tuned. There's much more Virginia this morning coming up after a quick break.